Welcome back to Ivy's Kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how I make my chili with no beans. What I like about this dish is a one pot meal and you can either eat it right away or you can freeze it and eat it for another time. If you're interested in seeing how I do this, keep on watching. For the complete recipe, please check out ivyskitchen.net. Start by adding your meat to the pot and we want to go ahead and season our meat with salt and pepper. We're going to break up the meat and we're going to saute it until it becomes brown. Next we want to add our chopped onions and season this of course with salt and pepper again. We want to season every layer and we're going to mix the ingredients until the onions are slightly softened. Once the onions are slightly softened, we want to go ahead and add the garlic. We're going to cook this for a few minutes before we go ahead and add the next ingredient, which is tomato paste. Let's go ahead and toast the tomato paste for about a minute before you stir it in with the meat. Next, we are going to add our chili powder and we are going to stir it so the meat is coated with this chili powder. Once the meat is coated with it, we can go ahead and add our cumin, thyme, and oregano to the meat mixture. And once the ingredients are combined, we are going to go ahead and add the beer. We're going to cook this beer until it is reduced by half, which will take a few minutes. Once it's reduced by half, we're going to add in our whole roasted tomatoes and our chicken broth with the Tabasco sauce. We want to season every layer, so go ahead and add some salt and pepper to it. And lastly, we want to add our green onions to this mixture. We're going to bring this mixture to a boil and once it reaches to a boil, you want to lower the heat so we can simmer this for about two hours or until the chili is nice and thick. Now it's time to taste this. Mmm. I like how it has a little kick of heat. Very delicious. I hope you can try this recipe. Again, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Mmm, it's so good. Thank you for watching Ivy's Kitchen. Please don't forget to subscribe. For the complete recipe, please check out ivyskitchen.net. Until next time, happy cooking!